Alrighty, hey guys, we are gearing up here for the Sunshine Glades Par 3 for the Anniversary Tournament. And I just wanted to kind of go over my approach here. So I will be setting up for at least a little bit of side spin. Now, it is nice to put a little bit of power ball on here because it is a little bit longer. So I'm going to put on a power one ball here. And uh, of course that extra side spin will give me that boost to have to reduce the amount of curl that I need to use to get this back to the hole. So you're going to see me do that. And uh, one of the things that I might mention is, you know, I might go more of like a Santa ball. Um, it just depends. We'll see how the distance lines up. Um, unfortunately, the only good wind resistance with side spin ball is the Santa ball right now. So if I want, you know, a ball that still has that same resistance like turkey, it's going to limit my side spin. So something to keep in mind. Um, but you do want to give yourself an opportunity to be able to hold this for a one and just get a nice bonus to your scorecard. So let's talk a little bit about this hole. Of course, I got to start going backwards. I got to remember to start forfeiting these or else I'm going to put myself in a little bit of a bind. Because I want to make sure that I don't qualify. Uh, I am still thinking about doing expert division, which is probably what I'm going to do with this uh, account. We'll just see. Um, you know, I'm a little under clubbed on about 90% of uh, the expert guys who are going to be in the top 10. So it makes things a little bit more challenging, but we'll see how I look at the holes. Um, in the expert division, one of the things, uh, you know, hole two is going to be kind of a guaranteed albatross. If I can't pull off a guaranteed albatross, it makes no sense for me to go to uh, expert division with this account because uh, you can't just give up two strokes to the field. Um, I proved that last tournament when I gave up two strokes to the field on the third hole by not ever being able to break, reach that fairway. So, crap. I did not expect this to happen. So it looks like I'm going to have to do this with driver, which means I'm going to switch to no power ball. Just wasting a lot of time here. Um, but I need to make sure that I land it very short. So here you're going to see is kind of my landing zone that I want. Uh, on top of this, I would usually go, you know, three rings. I am going to go as short as I can, plus maybe even take off just a little half ring, just to try to, and you see I'm using full curl here. That looks pretty good. Ah, oh, unbelievable. Robbery at its finest. So you see I was at my min club on my driver. Um, that was, you know, four, four and a half rings for that adjustment. On top of all that, um, I feel like I just ever so slightly took off a little bit as well. Um, so I didn't go, uh, I didn't quite go full power. I was just maybe 99% full power. I believe I did that. Now, I might have to go back to the video to actually know one way or the other. But uh, as you see, well, first off, I didn't expect to be on driver. So keeping that in mind, I will intentionally play this differently come next time. I'll probably play it with Santa Ball, like I said, during the weekend. And I'll switch to an even shorter driver with some accuracy. So let's look at... There's the rocket. It has 70 backspin. Let's look at what my quarterback has. Quarterback has 72. So go quarterback here. Um, you know, a nice no power ball is going to be a good one. So your best no power ball is the Santa ball. Something to keep in mind when this pro division. It's going to make that driver shot a little bit easier. Plus it's going to give you that extra, bat, uh, extra ability to curl it more now you have to pretty much choose one or the other so here's the problem when you go 72 backspin like that they don't let you put it out to the side of the ball so 
you can only you have to choose between full backspin or full side spin and you're gonna have to choose full backspin so you just try to cheat it out as far as possible and it's usually about four four and a half bars to where you still have that 72 backspin on and you can get only about four and a half side spin it's kind of a little glitch in this game I actually um, you know if you're thinking about it feel free to write play Dembic about this and see if that's something that they can think about uh, changing in the future I always forget to but uh, you know I, I feel like if you have a ball that can has the ability for these spins and yet you can't put both those spins on it's kind of a little unfair or it's kind of like a little bit of a wasteful ball is the fact that once I put that backspin on I can't go full side spin that's kind of you know defeats the purpose of the ball so it's definitely something to write them about um, so feel free you know the more tickets you guys put in about this thing the more prone they are to uh, change things like that so keep that one in mind and uh, good luck with getting that ace on that hole I'll see you guys on the next tee